Morning, everyone. NWA Prepper here. Um, so this morning, we're going to talk about probably bulk medical stuff. But as we talk about it, I've got, which I've got a big pile of stuff that needs to be stored. So I'm going to be storing it the way that I like to store it. So before we get started about it, I like these tubs <clears throat> because they, um, they're they clear. They have a locking lid that I like. So I take these tubs or these totes and put them in a larger uh, dark colored uh, black and yellow are the ones that I have right now. So I store them in there by category or, um, and by category, I mean things like uh, bleeding control or, you know, medications or cleaning or sanitation, you know, uh, personal protective equipment, whatever in my big totes, I categorize them like that. Everything I have today is things that I've been saving and and rat hauling to, to put away to go in my uh, my refill tub, which is just big, big bulk stuff to refill those other tubs. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is I bought a big bag of two by two dressing or two by two bandages, little gauze pads. They're not sterile and they fit in there really well or I think they do. So when I put them in there, I like to make sure the writing is visible on the bottom and the front. Now I haven't peeled this label and I, I'll peel the label. And so then you can look and see what's in there. Now I got these pretty cheap. Uh, I wanna say that I spent 50 cents a package on them. And the paper packaging they come in is great for storage. And then, uh, and then you want to protect them another way. So I put them in these containers and I, I will do that right there. And there's some extra room. So because they're just gauze pads, I'll actually squish them a little bit to get them in there. So for that order, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, there's 12 packages of, how many's in there? There's 200, there's 200 two by twos in each package. And I forgot to flip one. I can't have that, I gotta fix that. So, and then I have one left over I guess I should see, there it is. Just non-sterile two by two gauze. And so I'll put that in a tub marked refill. There we go. Now that I have that one turned correctly. And then you don't have to do that, but I do. And there's, there, these tubs are nice and tight. I really like them for two by twos. Now, since I have an extra one, what am I gonna do with the extra one? Well, I'm gonna set it aside and I'm going to either, I'll put it in a trading bin where I'll either trade it with uh, another member of, of my mag or I will put it in a, a gift bin or a trade bin for other mag groups. So, there are several other mag groups in the area that we're beginning to work together a little bit better. <clears throat> I say better. We've, we're getting to work together more precise. And so I'll have things like that. Now, I have one bundle of the 4x4s, the same thing. And there won't be near as many that will fit in there. And I only have one of those. 
And so I'll put it in the tub, but I won't put this in storage. This will be um, kind of out front and center so that I remember that I need two more of those to fill this tub. And I got those on Amazon. Um, I'll just check. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'm back. So this package was about six bucks and there's 200 in there. And, and then what else did I get? Oh, these, these guys here. And so these were about six uh, or seven dollars for all of those as well. So what do you guys think? Do you think um, about the storage of them? Do you, I mean, what do you think of the, the mini tubs? Or do you just want to put it all in one big tub? Or do you bucket it? Or do you just put the, the packaging on the shelf? What do you think is the best way to store things? Not for everyday use, but for emergencies. Let me know down in the comments below. As always, thanks for being here. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and, uh, and comment. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'm going to continue packing stuff up, and we'll talk about those things as we do it. Let's get ready.